This is homework video 3.5.3 .3, where we'll look at inequalities of two quadratic functions with one intersection. Our question is to use inequality and interval notation and give the x values that satisfy each inequality. We have two quadratic functions and we'll look at the four cases less than, less than or equal to, greater than or greater than or equal to. Notice that we might need to give single value intervals using set notation. As a first step, we'll set our two functions equal to each other and solve for x. When we do, we find that x equals minus 2 is the single solution. Then we use either function to find the corresponding y value, in this case 4. And when we look at the graphs of f of x and g of x, we see they intersect only at negative 2, 4. Our first question is, where is f less than g? f is the lower parabola here, and we want to know where the graph of f of x is below the graph of g of x. You can see this happens everywhere except for where f equals g. So our inequality notation here is x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than negative 2. And our interval notation is negative infinity to negative 2 union negative 2 to infinity. This is the way that we write all the real numbers except for x equals negative 2. On the next question, where is f of x less than or equal to g of x, we want to know where the graph of f is at or below the graph of g of x. This is true everywhere. When we fill in that dot, we see that the graph of f of x is always at or below g of x. So our inequality notation is negative infinity is less than x is less than infinity and our interval notation is negative infinity to infinity, and everything is shaded. Notice before here, the only thing that isn't shaded is x equals negative 2. Here, everything is shaded. Our third question is where is f of x greater than g of x? Where is the graph of f of x above the graph of g of x? This is never true. f of x is never above g of x, and so the x values to solve this do not exist. And our final question, where is f of x greater than or equal to g of x? Where is the graph of f of x at or above the graph of g of x? This only happens in one place, where f of x is at g of x, where f of x equals g of x at x equals negative 2. That's the only place. So our inequality is negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to negative 2, which is a fairly silly way to just write x equals negative 2. And our interval is written as negative 2 to negative 2, including negative 2, which is easier to write as the set notation just negative 2. To check our work, we double check that f of negative 2 is 4 for both functions, and that checks. And then we can also just examine our corresponding inequalities by looking at the graph and seeing where f is less than or equal to g of x. So altogether, our answers are f is less than g as long as x doesn't equal negative 2. f is less than or equal to g everywhere. f is never greater than g, and f is greater than or equal to g only at x equals negative 2.